dyslexia, it seems to me that one of the most commonly missed areas is the emotional side. Um, teachers and parents are very good at noticing problems with reading, with writing, with spelling, and even with maths. But there's very often a, a growing element of lack of motivation, low self-esteem, and upset, which um, develops as the child goes through school and the pressures become greater and greater. The problems seem to manifest themselves um, through a range of ways. Either um, young people become very quiet, very internal, they sit at the back of the class, avoid eye contact. Um, the ones where somebody asks them to read, they'll get up and they'll suddenly disappear out to the toilet. They'll take all sorts of evasive tactics. Um, or you get the children who really mess around um, and become the class clowns, the children who will do anything um, to get out of um, learning or being very obviously uh, struggling with uh, learning difficulties. These are the children who want to be accepted by their friends, want to be accepted by their peer group, um, and therefore by being funny, or by being um, very obvious, um, they get their street cred, but without looking as though they fail. And from there onwards, um, as they get older, the anxiety levels often grow, the frustration often grows, and you sometimes get um, high levels of anger, which appear as well, um, which can be very frustrating for teachers, for parents, and for the young person themselves.